What's going on guys? This is Damien from The Lookout and the time is finally here. Today we are talking about Shalong Ku. That's right everybody, today we are talking about Mr. Shlong Ku himself. And if you pay attention to the counter above my head, we will be keeping track at how many times I have said Shlong Ku during this entire video. We'll see how badly YouTube will demonetize me for doing this. It's probably gonna be pretty painful. So now more than ever, I need you to go and to check out the Coffee Club. Here are our current members. Miguel, Nave, Ryan, Frank, Scotty, Jacob, Bixen, Bryce, Derek, Adnan, Jakub and Golden Feather Kiryu. These are our Coffee Club members, our patrons of $2 and up. They help us keep going through buying us coffee and helping us replace the table that we have destroyed. And also by helping monetizing this video, cause Shlonku. Anyway guys, if you want to join the coffee club, link is in the description below. If Patreon is not your thing, we have a channel membership, you get like cool emojis. If you get enough members, maybe we'll make a Shlonku one. Now, that's it. Roll the video! As with all of our videos, let's start with the breakdown. So first off, we will break down the Shlonku archetype, I'll tell you what Shlonku is all about, I will show you some lines of plays, some interactions, I'll show you an example of a deck list, and then finally we'll go through like the first three, three or four turns I believe, and then we'll just wrap it up with a summary. Okay, yeah, that's Shlonku, let's go! Let's start with the game plan, what is Shlonku all about? Well, it's a very strong, critical focused aggro deck, with a pretty cute mechanic, you know. You play Goku, he plays with his power pole. And then, like, you just crit your opponent. You show them, like, the, my, the might of the Shlonku by critting them. You swarm your board with Goku cards, you give them critical with the power pole, and then you just swing at your opponent. And when it comes to the archetype, the official, the official community name for the archetype is, of course, Shlonku. And as someone who does breakdowns, I'm gonna slap this name everywhere. So uh, yeah, that's the game plan. Let's examine the leader. Our leader on the front side is Son Goku. So here he's not in his Shlonku form. Here he's more like a buffed cosplaying Comic-Con midget. And uh, his auto is when he attacks you draw one. And that's it. It's about the standard as front side leaders go. But his awakening is a bit interesting. It's from turn two onwards, because you have because you need to have two more energy. If there is some Gohan under your opponent's leader, which is gonna happen 100 percent of the time, add up to one power pole from your deck to your hand, shuffle the deck, draw one, and then add cards from life to hand until you have six cards left. So theoretically you're drawing about three cards. You draw two just from the awaken effect. And then you draw at least one from your lives. At least one. Because I don't imagine that your opponent's gonna drop you to six on their turn one. And then you get to flip him. On the awakened side, however, he is Shlonku. I mean, like, you cannot call him any other way. Just look, you can call him, like, Polku, Furious Masturbatorku. If you look at his pose and his face, all of that kind of makes sense. But Shlonku feels the best. So this one is very good. This one is actually very good. First off, he makes your power pole free. That's phenomenal. Plus, he gives your cards critical, which is amazing. Because when you put the power pole under a different card, it gains critical if you have the Z battle cards, Goku or Piccolo. And then on attack, he draws one. So he has the standard draw one, but he also gives a cost reduction to your key card, which is the power pole. So the power pole is free now, and all of your Son Goku cards with the power pole under them gain critical. They, that's pretty strong. That I'm not gonna lie, that's actually, actually strong. But let's check out the power pole. Okay, guys, here is Shlonku's pole, and this, <laughs> and this card is phenomenal this card is amazing let's go over it first off it is free to play it's completely free to play once your leader awakens that's great second it gives your cards plus 5k 
this is the first equipment card that we ever had because you place this card under your cards they get plus 5k third it draws you a card okay so it has the ability to draw you a card basically then finally it KOs a card I mean draw and KO go with its um, activate main limit one so once you get to draw and once you get to KO but on top of that on top of all of this you also gain critical because that's what your leader does so for zero energy investment it is a plus 5k critical KO something draw one I mean like you can't say that Shlonku's Paul isn't powerful after listening to everything that he does like this this card is amazing and it's gonna make this archetype completely crazy the other part of the archetype is Kid Gohan and this one is very cool so you only run two copies of him because you don't really need much more than that you will always get to put them under your opponents later and you need them to awaken the idea is that you get some bonuses for this one being under your opponents later and when you get to play him he is 30k remove something ignoring barrier he doesn't necessarily say KO remove, but he says minus 35k to something, which is huge, which basically kills almost anything in the game. Plus he's a free 30k beat stick when you play him. This one is great. Like it really costs you nothing to play him. You must play him for the archetype to function properly. And he's just an upside. He's just an upside. And that's very, very cool. All right, everyone. So let's not prolong Shlonku's debut any longer than necessary. Here is my deck list. This one is ancient because like the slides for this one were made after the archetype was revealed, but I never actually got around to doing this one. So uh, yeah, they're probably better updated lists, but use this one as a skeleton. Uh, the link is in the description below, like always. The deck planet link is over there and um, yeah let's just jump into it let's start with them all again so here's what you want you want Chi Chi because you need her to get Gohan under your opponent's leader you need one Sangoku one free drop I think this one is okay and then you can you get to keep one of the bigger ones for example uh, I chose to go with the five drop simply because this five drop is online a turn earlier than the big than the big boss monster so I prefer keeping this one but uh, yeah of course you can just go with the other one but always go with either chi chi or the ox king because you need a way to put gohan consistently under your opponent's leader on turn one i mean at the end of turn one and uh, then just go with one Goku so that you can do something on uh, turn two, basically. And for the rest, you will see. If you are focusing on Broly, there is also the Broly from uh, Champ Packs. You can also keep that one. I'm going to load a picture of him somewhere, or I'm not. We will see. Anyway, this is the this is a critical one. You can play him on turn two, and then you can apply more more critical pressure. If you're, straight, if you're sticking more to the archetype and you don't have Brawlies, go with this mulligan. It's not bad. So, yeah. Now, let's talk about the first three Shlonku turns. Alright, guys. We're gonna go over the first four turns with Shlonku. Shlonku is an aggro deck. This one is, is an aggro deck. It's pretty easy to pilot with not much variance in the first three turns. So, turns 1, 2 and 3, which Shlonku are gonna go basically the same it's only from theoretically from turn three you can do some things a bit differently you can do them on turn two if you have the broly but let's assume that you're just going without it because broly is expensive in some regions and um, from turn two onwards shlonko becomes a much more diverse deck uh, we will go over the first four turns instead because i want to show you the boss monster too just to show you some potential lines of play, though not difficult to play, the deck is incredibly strong. It's incredibly strong. Don't get, you know, don't get confused, don't get turned off from Shlonku when you see how linear he is to pilot from time to time. Uh, it's not linear, it's consistent. 
that's the big thing. It's consistent in beating you with critical guys. We are assuming that you're going first and that you have kept the mulligan that we have shown you. Alright, let's see what Shlonku can do. Turn 1. Turn 1 for Shlonku is the same as turn 1 for pretty much any other deck. It is the standard turn 1 you are setting up to awaken and to do other stuff on turn 2. Just to show you an example, so here is the turn 1 with Shlonku. You start, you charge, you pay 1, you play Shlonku's wife or you can play his father-in-law and then you search the deck, you grab a Goku, you shuffle the deck and then you just can pass the turn. This is the standard Shlonku turn 1 setup. You can play Ox King instead of Chi Chi to draw a card, though I prefer Chi Chi because she searches the deck. She grabs you pieces that you're missing. So she can grab you like a free cost uh, Goku if you've missed it in the mulligan. Important! So when you're playing Shlonku, you have to do something on turn 1. So in this case, let's say Frieza is your opponent. So Frieza came to fight Shlonku and kidnap his son. So, that, well, that's, that's a weird storytelling. So, you charge one, your opponent charges one, he pays one, he plays his one-drop Frieza, and then Chi-Chi triggers. Because your opponent plays something, she triggers. You add uh, Gohan from the deck to your hand, you shuffle the deck, and then you put him under Frieza. And then Shlonku gets to awaken next turn, and then pound Frieza's ass because Frieza stole his kid. So, yeah, this is important. Please don't miss this because if you miss this trigger, you can't awaken on turn 2. Please keep this in mind. Turn 2. So, Shlonku grabs his pole and starts beating people with it. Alright, so turn 2. Turn 2. You charge 1. Shlonku awakens and then he starts assaulting people. So, <laughs> you search... For you search for his pole and then he grabs it, you know, like, and then you shuffle the deck, you pay one to play one of the free drops, and then you get to use your pole on it. And now, because this is Shlonku's pole, it is free, so you get to place it under your free drop, and Shlonku gives him plus 5k power, and then you attack for 20k, so you just attack for 20k flat out. After which you can get to you can pay you one and then you can play another free drop. However, keep this in mind. Shlonku doesn't give critical to these guys until you have the Z battle cards out. I will explain this after I show you the next slide. Alright, so now the second Goku that you played searches for another one of Shlonku's poles. Yes, Shlonku has multiple poles, and all of them are free. So you get the pole from the deck and for free you just place it under this Goku, you give him plus 5k power and then because it's limit to 1 you can activate the power poles effect, draw one card, KO something, attack for 20k, the attack ends and then you attack with Shlonku himself, he draws your card, the attack ends and that ends your turn too. Okay, important, important to know. We aren't playing our Z battle cards to get critical on turn two. So the other way that you can play this turn two is just by going with Broly champ pack. But we are focusing more on Shlonku's archetype. And like I've said, I don't believe that everyone, ha everyone has these Broly's, especially if you're coming new to the game, they're pretty expensive, so we're just sticking to Shlonku's archetype. And in Shlonku's archetype, you have these battle, Z battle cards. And when you have them out, Shlonku gives critical. However, you don't play them on turn 2, because... Because when you play Piccolo, you put Goku under him. However, your Z stack, the ability that when... not Z stack but uh, the ability to just play Goku from beneath Piccolo works only when you have free or more energy. So if Piccolo gets removed, and he likely will, because he has no protection whatsoever, you just lost two cards. You just lost them. And then if you want 
more critical swings you need to replay them the next turn so no just don't use z battle cards now it's better to either do the play that i shown you or if you have brawlies go with brawlies on turn two turn three we're applying extra pressure with shlonku and getting ready for a climactic finish in turn four so what are our turn three plays in turn three turn three is kind of like a bridge you know before the explosive climax Shlonku's explosive climax on turn four so uh, we need but we need to prepare Shlonku for the big finish we need to get him ready for it so in order to do that we're doing two things to him first we are establishing our z battle cards so that Shlonku can start giving critical through his power pole and then we also need to make sure that Shlonku has his pole ready so we are using Goku and Krillin, which help him get his pole re up and running. So yeah, this is, these are the two things that you need to establish if you want to have a climactic finish with Shlonku on turn 4. You need the Z battle cards, because then Shlonku can give them critical, and you need power pole so that Shlonku has something to give critical with. And now let's check out turn four turn four the big aggro finish turn shlonku's explosive climax okay so we start the turn with shlonku and then we charge one power pole gives critical now so we are assuming that you have established your z battle cards so shlonku can give critical with power pole we pay one to play our free drop okay so now it is pole time we use Power Pole's Activate Main to give Shlonku's pole to the 5 drop. And then Shlonku gives him plus 5k in critical. So you attack for 25k critical. Let's say no counters. We just swing. Then you use Pole's Activate Main to KO a card, which has less than 25k power, I believe. And uh, then you draw 1. And then you get to restand your 5 drop. Now you get to swing for 25k critical again, thanks to Shlonku giving it with a pole. So what do you do now? Well, maybe, maybe you find a way to somehow get another pole. Uh, you have Gokus, you have Krillins, you have ways of getting them. Then you pay two and you play the boss monster. And then some things happen. First off, your leader gets plus 5k. Then... Gohan's auto triggers and now you get to play Gohan from your opponents from beneath your opponent's leader you KO a card and then you used activate main of your power pole because the first activate main uh, doesn't isn't uh, limit one and it's free because of Shlonku's ability so you put the pole under Piccolo and Goku. Okay, and now, finally, the final slide with the power of Shlongku. Our 8 cost has 30k double strike critical. That was your attack. The attack ends. You use activate main to restand him, and then you swing again. 30 double strike critical, thanks to the power of Shlongku giving critical. And then the attack ends. Then you attack with Gohan, attack ends, then you attack with Shlonku for 20k, attack ends, and then you can, if your opponent is a dead by then, you attack with the Z battle card, and by this point, hopefully, you have won the game. Before we wrap up the video, let's end it with a summary. Shlonku is a very straightforward, but fun aggro deck. It really suffers from having its best cards locked behind later turns, aka Shlonku can go off before turn 3. Your opponent can take away your critical swings by killing your Z battle cards on turn 4. So keep that in mind. Please keep that in mind. There is a way to take your criticals away. That's not the best, but yeah. But you know it is what it is. Anyway, um, official name for Shlonku is Shlonku. So... Let's make it happen. And finally, I would suggest that you give Shlonko a go if you're looking for a fun gimmick deck. 
Plus, I think this one is gonna be like probably the best red deck, one of the better red decks in the upcoming metagame. So yeah, that's it for the video. That's it for Shlonku. That's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below. Are you excited to give Shlonku a go? Personally, I think Shlonku is going to be an amazing archetype. It looks to be very strong. Critical aggro is scary. It's very scary. It doesn't happen too often in the game, but when it happens, it's terrifying to fight against. I think this is going to be one of the better ones, plus 90% of it is from this set. So if you're someone just jumping into the game, you can get like almost the entire deck from this set. But anyways, guys, let me know your opinions in the comments below. I read all of your comments. I try to respond to everything. I love our little community. And before you leave, hit those share button, hit that share button, like and subscribe, help us grow. We are on our way to 3000 subs. If we can get there soon-ish, that's gonna be like amazing. If we can get there at all, that's gonna be amazing. So uh, yeah. That's it for the video, guys, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Of course we're gonna end it on 69, guys. That's it for the video. This has been Damien from The Lookout, and I'll see all of you in the next video.